Hello everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel. And today I'm giving you my first impression. And I didn't unbox, guys. So this is my first impression of the Jordan Separate. Let's go. So guys, the Jordan Separate. I know a lot of you have been waiting for me or are curious about the sneaker because I posted it over at my Instagram stories and almost 95% wants me to review this because I think mainly because of Luka Doncic. Because guys, this is what Luka has been wearing aside from the Jordan 36 and the Jordan 35. So a lot were curious about it and there was some news over at the Some Kick site that this took inspiration on Luca's step back. That's why a lot of people are curious about this. So luckily, it was released here in the Philippines and it came out in this blue and green colorway. This is a Dallas Maverick colorway and there's another colorway that is black and white and I opted for this blue. So para iba lang. So a little change and I'm kind of tired with just all black in my sneakers. So let's touch up first with the upper of the Jordan Separate. For the upper of the Jordan Separate, it's not too fancy. You just have some mesh on the toe area. This blue part is a very soft mesh, like a fabric mesh, net mesh actually. And when you go around here in the midfoot part, it is like um, there's a neoprene-like material. So this area has padded foam, so it's kind of comfy around this area and it is a lot thicker, so it gives you more support around this angle. And as you can see, there's a different kind of lacing system around this part. You can see that this one is attached here on this fabric so that when you pull this, it will really hug your foot. And the lacing system here on the last four laces is around this synthetic suede. So you can see that it gives you extra durability to the sneaker. The first thing that I noticed on the upper, although it's kind of just basic materials, but it gives you a lot of support. And when I was playing with it, it was very supportive. The upper was very supportive. Moving to the midfoot part, it is a screen mesh. Of course, it doesn't stretch too, and the durability is there. And I was blowing this part here that there's some holes attached here in this neoprene-like material. And I was blowing through the holes. Uh, the air didn't pass through that much. So ventilation-wise, it's okay. Not that much. And as for the tongue part of the separate, it is very nicely padded and it's extra long. So it's very comfortable around your ankle, top of your ankle actually. And moving on to the heel part of the sneaker where you can see this TPU piece for heel containment and lockdown. And I will say the lockdown on the separates is very good. Heel containment is also very good. The padding is really, really nice and very, very comfortable. So no problems there. And as for the insole, it's just a basic insole that comes from Jordan brand and Nike. Let's try to put it out and this is it has a nice color, this neon green, but the insole is just basic and there's air here. So speaking of air, of course, that is the cushion of this Jordan Separate. It has one air unit here, so it's not circular, it's actually rectangular here. And when I was jumping, I could feel the air compressing here around this midfoot and it's very plush. And I think another reason why the cushion setup of the Jordan Separate is very plush and impact protection is really nice. The foam that they use here is, I think, different. They are using a dual density foam that is written here. As for the experience of the dual density foam, it's really, really nice. It's really plush. Impact protection is really nice. And there's a nice bounce back to the cushion. Hopefully, it stays that way and doesn't deflate over time. You can see there's markings, there's compression marks around here and on the midfoot. So it really compresses very nicely. And I like actually the cushion of the Jordan Separate. The dual density foam that they use here is very responsive, enough cord feel. It's a very well cushioned basketball sneaker. Now let's move on to the traction part of the Jordan Separate, which is an area that I like about the Jordan Separate. 
the traction is really really grippy it has its radial pattern from the green part and even on the blue part of the traction it's still very grippy and just a warning guys there's a little bulge here but the bulge is not as noticeable as the ones on the jordan 36 so this one is more stable in my opinion plus the other factor that helps in the stability of the separates is this nice lateral outrigger on the separate so when i was trying to do a step back stability on the sneaker was really nice and if you notice this blue piece here on the cushion it is a stabilizing piece or TPU plate and it's nice it kind of cradles your midfoot part here you can hear that and it's a very nice plastic piece here it's not just a bar and when you're doing a side step like this it, it kind of gives you a little spring back on your step back which is really nice i think that's why they said that this is an inspiration of luca's step back because it's very stable when you do a step back you can get your stability very very quickly and as for the heel part traction you can see it's kind of wide here so it's a very stable sneaker and as for the heel to toe transition it has a very nice curve to it it's not slappy at all so it has a very nice heel to toe transition as for the traction's durability take note guys this is a pf version which has an xdr tag so extra durable rubber is used here I don't know if this will be released internationally, but as far as I've heard the news, it is released here in Asia first. But hopefully, it reaches your shore. And if you want this pair, there's some eBay sellers that are selling this sneaker. As for the sizing of the Jordan separate, I went half a size down. I'm a regular footer, so wide footer go through to size because there's some space around the midfoot and the material is very forgiving. When I was playing, it was very comfortable, so I would suggest regular footers go half a size down. As for the price of the Jordan separate, it is 5,800 pesos. So that's around $110, if I'm not mistaken, $120. So this is a very budget sneaker. But I believe this is not the signature sneaker of Luca. He just wore it and to try it out and maybe take inspiration on his next signature sneaker. Because as you can see, there's a Jordan logo here, but on Luca's Jordan separate, it has his logo. So I think that's just the PE version. So that's it on my initial impression of the Jordan separate. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you like them? And have you tried them? Let me know in the comments down below. So this has been Marches. Once again, thank you for dropping by. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.